So one of the things I've noticed with Camtasia on the Mac is that the files it generates are very large. Here you can see my Camtasia project is six gig. That's because the original files add up to about six gig with the MP3 file. Now having generated a movie from this, it comes out at 5.74 gig, which is quite large and unfortunately it's too large for me to upload to Vimeo. So what I really want to do is compress this. The way I'm going to do that is by using FFmpeg, which you can download from the internet, ffmpeg.org. It's free to download, works cross-platform. So let me just run the command here. FFmpeg is a command line tool. I'm running it on the Mac. So the command that I'm going to enter is FFmpeg minus I, because I want the input file to be edited NTSC 2018.mp4, which we've seen is 5.74 gigabytes. I'm going to change the encoding minus V codec. So the video codec is going to be H264. And I'm going to set the audio coding to be AAC. Now your audio codec could be MP3, MP2. I found that I had to put it as AAC in order to get audio out the converted video. And that's probably because the input video is actually H.264 and AAC and the conversion didn't work properly or maybe I haven't installed the MP3 codecs. I'm not exactly sure, but I do know that setting the audio codec to AAC worked for me. But you could experiment with MP2, you could experiment with MP3, see which works. Have a look on the FMPEG documentation and see what codecs there are. So I'm using AAC and I want to output it to, I'll say, compressed.mp4 because I don't have that in here. Run that command. And this is basically going to take probably about the length of time as the video because eventually the encoding is going to go down to one to one. So this will take about half an hour. So I will come back to the video then. Okay, so that took a little over half an hour, so 32 minutes that took, so a little bit less than the actual video file. The, the Mac fan has kicked in, so my, work, my Mac was actually having to work really hard. But we can see that after all that work, what we now have is a file that is, instead of being 5.74 gigabyte, is 1.9 gigabyte. If I look at the file information here and compare the two files, the only obvious difference is we have the same codec, we have the same dimensions, we don't have the same color profile. So it's entirely possible that the color profile makes a difference. It might be that the FMPEG encoding for H.264 is better. It might be that the encoding for AAC is better. But regardless, with that one simple command, I have converted a file and taken it from 5.74 gigabytes down to 1.9 gigabyte. So this really makes a difference. FMPEG is free, very simple command. You can install it on Mac or Windows or Linux. If you've got big MP4 files, this is a great thing to try and do to reduce the size.